The next uh, example is of do until as we have seen earlier uh, do until loop is uh, for uh, checking or iterating something until a particular condition is met when the condition is met it will move out of the loop. So let us see an example now let us assume one case where uh, we want user to enter a certain number and when we when a user enters uh, when user enters any number uh, we check something that okay this number should be greater than less than something if um, that condition is met we want uh, it to move out of the loop so let us say um, uh, we are asking user to enter his salary so i am taking a variable dim salary as integer sal as integer and we are forcing user to enter an integer value let's say uh, just for a simple example otherwise it could be a, let's say floating point value also so sal as integer and i'm asking user to enter his salary in the form of input box so sal is into input box uh, i'm prompting here a message box enter your salary in integers right so user is entering his salary and we are initially setting sal uh, zero right here we are checking do until cell is greater than 10,000 so until a user enters a value greater than 10,000 it will say inside the loop it will ask user to enter the salary in integers now let's run this so you get an input box here enter your salary in integers I enter 10 let's say I hit OK. Again, it prompts me for a salary. I enter 200. Again, it gives me a message uh, to enter my salary. If I enter 10,000 something or greater than 10,000, let's say 11,000, it move forward and move out of the loop. So whenever the condition is met for the first time, it will move out of the loop. And till the time the condition is failing, it will stay inside. It will keep on prompting the, the, the message box in this case or the input box in this case. So I hope this is clear to you. Uh, there is another flavor of do until like we had for do while. Uh, if you want the condition to be checked in the later stage, you can check it here. So by putting the condition here, you mean that at least one this block would be executed and then the condition would be checked. Right. So uh, when the salary is zero, it will simply display a message box to ask for the salary and then it will check for for the salary so even if i enter a number greater than 10000 for the first time uh, you can see it asked me for the message box because it checked the condition here so by uh, putting the until block here the condition here we can avoid this here uh, initialization here why we initialize sal equal to zero because when we put the condition here uh, the value of sal must be something uh, because it was declared it was not initialized it could fail if uh, there is no value here therefore we initialized it to zero but now we do not need initialization because user is inputting a value before the condition is checked so that is the different version of uh, uh, you can say do while or do until uh, so thank you for uh, staying with us uh, keep watching our next tutorials for more uh, to learn more about uh, um, loop statements thank you